Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss narratives and discussions, and then towards the end of the video, um, a little bit of information about the lab handouts. So narratives um, provide the key details of the experimental, experimental procedure that you followed. Generally, we're trying to ignore some of the extraneous details, and we're trying to focus on the necessary details for another chemist to replicate your work. So in the first narrative uh, discussion that's due, this is following the computational experiment to give you a sense of what might be an important detail and what might be an extraneous detail. The important details for computational chemistry, the important details for another person to re replicate your work would be what platform are you using, such as WebMO, Spartan, Gaussian, etc. What methods are you using? What basis sets are you using? What types of calculations you are doing? Um, and then maybe the general geometries that you built your molecules with. Um, maybe, you know, say you built methane with a tetrahedral geometry. Um, and even that is probably somewhat extraneous because it obviously has a geometry. So you might be noting any geometries that were somewhat uh, peculiar. Um, the level of detail that you don't need to include is perhaps how you built the geometries. Like you probably don't need to say, you know, how you clicked the periodic table icon and chose a carbon atom and double clicked in the window, et cetera. Those would be extraneous details. So just mention what molecules you built, maybe some information on their geometries if that's relevant, and then the um, theories, basis sets, calculation types, et cetera, the important details of your calculations. And lastly, you may mention what information was extracted from the calculation once it was finished. So maybe try to explain why certain experiments were carried out if that's important to try to outline or give the uh, reader some um, uh, information on why these experiments were being conducted in the first place. Uh, this should be done in a cohesive paragraph format, similar perhaps to your OCHEM uh, procedures from Organic. I think they write in a paragraph format, uh, experimental procedures with most of their labs. This is somewhat similar in that vein. Also look to the specific instructions at the end of the lab handout to see which aspects of the experiment you should focus on. Um, sometimes we might say to only focus on certain aspects of the procedure uh, in the narrative. Um, otherwise, if we don't mention, we would expect you to include or discuss the entire procedure. For the computational experiment on day one, for example, there's just two of the steps that you're asked to discuss in the uh, narrative and the discussion for that part of the experiment. Uh, and then the uh, discussion. So you discuss the key analysis, your results. Generally, you're looking to the handouts to see what specific details are looking to be discussed. Uh, generally, you might be starting off the discussion with your data, small discussion on how it was analyzed, and then from there, answering those discussion posts or those discussion uh, items from the handout. Uh, this should continue on from the narrative, from the experimental detail steps in a cohesive format. Use tables, graphs, figures as needed. Use proper labeling, titles, units, axis labels, etc. Most graphs in the tables that we may, may have asked you to make during the analysis should generally be included within uh, the discussion section of the uh, narrative discussion. So um, I can think of maybe some instances where you make several graphs and tables, like on the uh, calorimetry experiment, you make quite a few tables and graphs where I could see maybe not including every single table or graph that you make, but a majority of these items uh, should be included in the discussion and then of course discussed. Lastly for today is the handout. So each of the labs has a handout that you have to complete and turn in. Um, if you have a stylus, um, you can use that to uh, answer the questions uh, probably most easily. If not, just write your answers onto ordinary paper, reserving one sheet of paper per page of the handout so you can easily find your work. Um, look to the, uh, you know, answer the questions within the packets. Um, some of the discussion topics for the final narrative don't need to be answered within the packet. So the very end of the packet has those discussion topics. You don't need to put those on your lab handout. Short answers are fine. Uh, we're not looking for very detailed answers to some of the questions that are posed in the packet, just some short answer uh, questions. And then mostly the other information being sought is the data that you collected during the experiment. Um, submit this by the uh, due date listed on the course calendar or in the lab handout. You may write your data um, answers on ordinary paper, like I said, if needed, if you don't have a stylus. And if possible, uh, try to assemble a single PDF file to submit with your entire handout. Uh, we can accept, you know, PDFs of each of the pages separately if necessary, but ideally we'd get one PDF uh, copy. Um, and then you may submit an Excel spreadsheet in place of some of your calculations. If this is uh, what you end up doing in your experiment some of the time, just write in on the handout, see Excel spreadsheet, and then make sure to submit the Excel spreadsheet in addition to your lab handout. Okay, so I think that's all for this video here. Thank you for the attention.
good luck with your first narrative.